subs were the game changers. Klopp has been criticized for putting on the wrong players at the wrong time, disrupting the flow of the match, maybe putting on players that we don't really need. But it seems to have worked in this instance here because Nunez gets himself the assist for Gakpo and also for Jones, which to me is not really an assist. I mean, he's passed the ball almost accidentally, like bounced off of him into Jones's path and he's taken a touch, had a dribble and then had a pop at goal. I don't know. But Cody Gakpo gets himself a goal. So Cody Gakpo gets a goal. Darwin with two assists, respectively. And as I said, one's not really an assist. The one for Gakpo's goal a few minutes later, that one was a lovely ball across. And uh, Gravenberch did have that shot that went just wide, sort of like before he got subbed off, but that was pretty much it for him. Uh, Nunez, let's talk about Darwin Nunez, because this man had a fantastic little cameo. Now, if, again, using these aggregators, the, these you know, you know, foot mob and sofa score and all these others, you can say the stats sort of like don't lie. I remember the other day, Statman Dave put on something like, oh, what a fantastic game by Marcus Rashford for Manchester United against Wigan. And all the United fans and just football fans in general is thinking like, are you fucking serious? Like, did you watch Rashford? He was atrocious just because he had 10 accurate passes and a couple of shots on goal. Doesn't mean he had a good game. He wasn't explosive at all. But Darwin was. He was. Played 34 minutes, got himself two assists, one of them being a so-so assist, uh, four shots, uh, two chances created. He had three on target. Again, that header, that ball from, I think it was from Gakpo on that right wing, just floating across to Darwin and in the middle there. And man, it would have been a lovely goal, but Leno with the fantastic double palm save. Uh, shot accuracy, uh, three out of four. Had that big chance missed, which is most likely the one where Bradley puts fizzes that ball in, very Trent-esque-like into that space. And, and Darwin just gets a foot to it, but Leno comes out early and smothers the ball. And, and then you can say, uh, someone made a point of this. If Allison does that, we say, oh, that's a fantastic save from Allison. But when it happens to Nunez, we say, oh, Nunez was shit. He should have scored. So it's like you have to sometimes just say, look, it's a fantastic save. Unfortunately, just couldn't make it happen. It is what it is. But he had himself a decent game. Evidently enough, foot mob reckon he got an 8.6. And arguably the um, man of the match, I mean, for a 34 minutes cameo, make of that what you will. But he had he had a great impact on the game. Definitely had a great impact. Let me bring him up just for the sake of the, uh, the conversation. He had a great impact of the game. Now, I'll take the assists if no goals are to be had. And he was looking good on that left wing again, as I said. He is effective. I think he's got the most uh, goals and assists off the bench this season, where it's three goals and four assists or something to that effect. He's got 10 assists all season so far. So a lot of people have sort of slandered him and said he's been a trash footballer, he's no good, we should sell him, etc., etc. Now, Hassan from This Is Football, I caught the end of his stream when he was streaming the game live for the, for the commentary, and he said he would give Darwin a 2 out of 10 for those two assists. And then he said, no, no I'm not going to be that bitter. Then I think he gave him a more respectable score. But my thing is, if Darwin Nunez is brought in as a striker, which he is, plays on the left wing and as a striker, those are his two positions, more effective on the left wing, why not just play him on that left wing? Why not rotate him around the front line? I, we did it with, with, with Mane, Firmino and Salah. Why can't we do it with, with Darwin, with Jota or Gakpo, with Salah, whoever's playing in the middle, Diaz, you know what I mean? Why can't we do it with them too? He can play left and then central. You can have Gakpo central and then out wide. You can have Salah on the right and then in the middle and then you know Gakpo in the middle to the right. Like We can do these things. I don't know why, why we can't. Maybe there's an actual tactical reason why, but in my opinion, I don't see why we can't. But he's been good. He has been good. So people saying he's had a, uh, a shit last few months, I think they're just talking crap. If he's not scoring goals, he's getting assists. And when you get an assist, that means someone else scores a goal. So I'll take the assists over him doing absolutely nothing. If he's just taking shots at goal, everything is being saved, he's not really doing anything, then we're going to have to say, okay, what are we doing here with, with Darwin? But so long as he's getting assists or doing something in that match, fair enough. Now, shout out to footy judge Mo with all uh, luck timing working out. I'll be on the stream one day soon. So thank you for the um, for the invite. But he had some wild people say Darwin was crap and he needs to be sold, as I was saying. So Darwin off the left is definitely better than Darwin down the middle, as far as we can see right now. And I think some people are just spoiled for choice and they think every player is meant to turn into Mo Salah. Doesn't matter where they play on the pitch. Unfortunately, it's just not possible. Uh, Jota looked lively, itching for himself to get a goal. 
didn't. Diaz was so-so. Um, didn't affect the game as much after last week. Uh, McAllister getting back to speed after the injury. And would Endo have even played in this game? Would Endo have played against Arsenal? Would McAllister have rested? Would Endo have been rested for this game and McAllister played? Would McAllister played both? Would Endo have played both? We don't know. It's just one of those things we have to question ourselves.